Next on Comcast Newsmakers, an organization dedicated to helping low-income students get to college and complete college. That's coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we're in Olympia, the beautiful state reception room at the Capitol. And joining me right now, Dr. Yolanda Watson Spiva, who is president and CEO, College Success Foundation. Thank Dr. you, Watson Spiva. Thank you so much for coming on the program. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same here. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your organization. What is your mission? Well, the College Success Foundation is a charitable foundation which provides scholarships for low-income students, and we also provide a series of integrated supports that really help students understand the path to and through college, and so helping them to take the, select the right courses in high school, and then helping them to access scholarships and financial aid so that they can be successful in entering college, and then finding the right match for college. And we do that through early awareness in middle schools, uh, college readiness in high school, and then the access work, and then success in, in college through completion. So you really start young? Yes. Middle school? Yes. So you identify kids who are lower income, who maybe need that extra support. Talk about how these services kind of walk us through as they get older, because it sounds like it's, it's fairly complex to make sure that that we said you not only get to college, but you actually succeed and complete college. Yeah, so we have a program called the HERO program, and the HERO program really works with minority males of, co of color primarily, but they're also young ladies who fit into the schematic, and we're able to provide direct services to them in terms of helping them to identify, first of all, college as an attainable goal, and then looking at ways to actually create a roadmap for how you get to college. Doing that early really sets the tone for how students select courses, how they engage with the the, the school and how we make sure that they have a path to college. And so then those students progress on to become achievers. Our achievers program is in the 11th and 12th grades and that's when we're really laying the groundwork and getting serious about, you know, taking the SAT and the ACT, really looking at the direct connection between high school and college and helping with that college mat match and college fit. And then after that we have the transition between college and high school and those folks become our CSF scholars who are in college and they're then becoming able to mentor other students so we have a near peer mentoring program for upper class college students to work with underclassmen and really make sure that there's a system of supports and so we have of course um, we work with AmeriCorps so we have a lot of volunteers as well so the mentoring really happens at every stage at every age and at every level because really for the students who are the first in their families to attend college and don't really have a compass for how to navigate that environment we really want to make sure they have a connection to a concerned individual who also is aware of how to keep them on that path. So you're there every step of the way. Yes. Right. Tell us if you can um, a success story or two because I know you have so many. Of course. Well, we have a student who came to America with her parents and she has several siblings and of course when she came her parents were undocumented and through the process of working with the College Success Foundation we were really able to connect her with the private scholarships that would be able to provide her with because she was not eligible for the state need grant able to provide her with a series of funding that could help her with college. In the process she and all the members of her family gained, became American citizens and so you also had many of her siblings to also attend college and so one thing we know is that once we get these kids on the right path it impacts the entire family so this is not a proposition that is about individual benefit it really has um, tentacles that go outside of the, the individual scope good point to bring up and uh, dr. Watson Spiva we're almost out of time but you all have been expanding in Seattle of course Washington DC now in Washington State Seattle Tacoma but you've expanded recently to the eastern part of the state yes yeah, so we're also we, we've expanded to Spokane and we're also going to be going to the Vancouver area um, at the Evergreen Public Schools next year and so we have a very strategic footprint and we're looking at really expanding across the state and potentially other locations in the, Uni in the United States. Well great well it's so wonderful to hear uh, all about you know kids succeeding in college not just getting to college but actually succeeding and completing college so thank you so much for talking to us today Dr. Watson Spiva thank you and thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers headline news coming up at the top and bottom of the hour.